dynamics or the varying degrees of really loud and really soft that we play in music are an essential part to all music making and really enrich the pieces of music that we play. So it's not all one level, either really loud or really soft. It makes things really interesting. In music, the really loud or forte is marked with an F. And the louder it gets, the more Fs the composer has written. I've seen all the way to five Fs, but it's usually just one. Also, um, on the, to contrast that, piano is marked with a lowercase little p. Also, the more piano the composer wants, the more p's he'll add, but you generally see one to two p's. In between, there's mezzo forte, medium forte, a good medium sound, which is marked mf, and mezzo piano, which is a little bit softer, middle piano, mp. So I will play a B flat, one of the notes that we've already learned. Listen how I change from very, very quiet, and each time I tongue the note, it gets louder and louder and louder, all the way through the dynamic range of the flute. So there are all kinds of dynamics that we can make even on one note. No matter what we do, what dynamic we are playing on the flute, it's important to never sacrifice a really good, strong, stable airstream. Even when we're playing piano, we want to envision an airstream that is strong and constant and moving straight through the note. Through your stomach, huge breath, out through your mouth, very constant. It's easier when things are loud because you're already thinking to use a lot of air and a big amount of it. That's great, but even in the soft, even in the soft dynamics, we want to use a lot of air. The difference in dynamics happens with the amount of air that we use and the lip opening in the embouchure. When we're playing forte, we want to utilize as much of the air as we possibly can that is coming out, up through our stomachs and out through into the flute. For example, a higher B-flat. I'm taking a huge, big breath, imagining a giant stream of air that is very constant and stable being directed through into the embouchure hole. The same applies to a, a piano dynamic, but with a little bit less air, still constant, still steady, but slightly less. If you still have your mirror, you might want to examine your embouchure, see what size the hole is when you play forte versus piano. Piano will be a little bit smaller, forte will be larger, but still I cannot emphasize enough the amount of steadiness and the big airstream that we need regardless of whether we're playing forte or piano. In real music practical applications for dynamics, uh, certain dynamics are more appropriate for certain situations. For example, if you want to sing or play a lullaby, you wouldn't scream it. That sounds kind of silly. That's not the point of a lullaby. And while I might have a nice sound, it's completely out of character. Piano, though, is completely acceptable. To sing someone to sleep. When you're playing a concerto, let's take Mozart flute concerto in G major, you don't want to play piano because you're the soloist, you're the star, you have the solo voice. If you play too quietly, no one can hear you and the very exuberant, confident character of the piece is completely lost with a piano dynamic. But if I play it forte, I'm much more a soloist. This can be applied to all different kinds of music, uh, fat, loud, soft, 
emotional, different types of emotion. Dynamics play a huge part in all of these different feelings and circumstances. Let me play one more piece. This piece involves crescendos and decrescendos, which is a word to mean from piano to forte, crescendo, decrescendo, forte, back to piano. You can think of little hairpins. It's more gradual. It's not piano directly to forte, but over a longer length of time. That solo from Brahms' Fourth Symphony is marked allegro, energetic and passionate. And I feel like those feelings would not really be conveyed at all without dynamics. There are so many little tiny hairpins throughout the solo, and also a huge gradual crescendo from start to the middle F sharp all the way to the end that help us experience all of these emotions and convey the music in a completely different way than if we had not had any dynamics at all. And there you have it, dynamics.